So we're, we're just getting ready, day two. Um, today we're going to go around the coastal path. So we're going to go right around the edge. We're going to go with it uh, each of them now. So we're going to go up to Hunstanton, then to Wells, then to then to Sheringham, then to Cromer, then round across the bike way. And you want to go to where? Humanby, is it? Uh, Hemsby. Hemsby. And then uh, Caystone Sea before we stop yeah. at Great Yarmouth. So we're going to take his time today. I'll have a bit yeah. of them now. Um, and a cup of coffee, but that's it, innit? We need some proper breakfast, so we're going to go to Hunstown to find some proper breakfast. You hungry, Tom? Yep. <laughs> How hungry are you, Tom? Fella. He's hungry. He's, 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 yeah. he's, he's, he's putting a brave face on it, but that lad's starving. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we'll, uh, we're going to leave the caravan. The caravan's absolutely glorious, by the yeah, way. Yeah. It's uh, really just nice. really nice. Decent nice kit. Right. You've abused the facilities this morning, haven't you? Have I? Oh, no. <laughs> he's, He's had a shite. Oh, I've had a shite. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you'd talk about number two. So, no, we're, we're, we're definitely enjoying it. So, we're going to have a, well, like I said, we're going to have a mosey up the coast and we'll see how we get on. Uh, hopefully, some, some nice scenery today. No falling off today, innit? That's the rule. No falling off. Everyone gets their one piece and hopefully find some decent amusements when we get to uh, Yarmouth. We're just, here. Just come outside the caravan because I'll see these ducks walking in the line. Look at all this lot. I don't know if somebody's feeding them or what. So many ducks. Why, well, my little dog rear. Really. She wouldn't know what to do with her, said. <laughs> there you go. What a way to start a day. I mean, I can't count them, but it must be about 40 or 50 of these buggers now. Some good eating here. Okay, so I know it's been a while since we've done one of these. Uh, kind of got busy really, it's weird, we got all this footage recorded and then I went on holiday and then work got crazy. So apologies this has taken a while to come out, but this is us uh, picking up where we left off on our Norfolk trip, which we did like, I don't know, June last year, I think it was. Um, so this is us, as stated, we're going into town to get some breakfast. Uh, if you've not been to Hunstan to another bike, highly recommend it, it's a lovely little town. Uh, nice and easy to go into. Uh, and plenty of things to see. There's, there's lots of cafes, coffee places, some light arcades if you want that kind of thing. Definitely a couple of decent pubs as well. Uh, amusingly, we've just gone past a pub which we did all day breakfast there and we were ravenous at this pub. We were really, really hungry. Uh, but, you know, we thought we'd get down to the front, park up on the front and uh, we figured it'd be fairly easy to find somewhere to have something to eat. Uh, so this is us trying to get down to the spot I've seen before with lots of bikes parked up which is just around the corner after this pub but you can see my uh, slight different because there was some kind of army thing going off and you'll see it as we come around this corner here there's like all old, uh, old trucks and things and I'm going like it's around here somewhere where is it where is it where is it oh hang on here it is uh, and they kind of cone the road off at the top which you normally come down uh, it should have just gone down through there well yeah you can spot it once you get close look at all these bikes that's always a good sign couple of lads there having a coffee by the looks of it. I'm thinking, yeah, we'll fight some breakfast here, no trouble. So uh, we'll get ourselves kind of parked up and we'll see how we get on. Um, here's Tony on the Himalayan, as I was got there, some blocks end up on some kind of custom bobber. So we, we just got a nice time as well, so there are a few spots left for parking. Definitely a win. And uh, excuse the dubious parking here, but you know, you've got to get in when you can, can't you? A little bit breezy, but the sun's up. Good start to the day, really. It's probably easier just to come through here. <laughs> but it did. That's what I was expecting to do, so I'm like, oh, well, I've seen bikes. How the fuck do you get there? I didn't realize you had to go right around. Oh, well, you've got a laugh, haven't you? So you find some bikes. So me and Tony just stopped for a bit of breakfast and god did we need that. Oh, next to this thing here, look, it's the wash monster. It was an absolutely cracking breakfast. I know I know Steve's had more than you go. Yeah, sausage, bacon, beans, egg, tomato, <laughs> mushrooms and fry bread. Right, well uh, now I know that's all set up for working, we'll get on the road. Right. Fill his bellies, fill the bikes. Yeah. 
So as always. So uh, so Tony's changed the Himalayan now. He's not got it anymore. Uh, but I'll tell you something I don't miss, which is that ridiculous, stupid, loud exhaust. Always, always deafens you. And this is me encouraging Tony to overtake this car who was just dawdling along. Oh, good grief. Presumably because they were looking for somewhere to park. Turns out they were stuck behind somebody else. But yeah, if you get to understand to make sure you get there early. Once you've got all these vans and cars at the side of you, you won't find a parking spot, you'll have to go like two and a half mile out of town. And the ride along the coast is actually really nice. Tony had wanted to go to Wells and I'd been along the corner, that kind of coast road towards Croma before, but never actually gone much further than Croma. And it's, it's, it's pleasant enough. It, it wasn't really a high pace this morning. There was a few cars slowing us down. Uh, but once they cleared out, you know, we, we were ticking along kind of nicely. Sort of chucking along at 60 here. But look, roads aren't too bendy, so round the corners. Just taking your time and just enjoy it. It's nice, nice to have a little poodle in the countryside and taking the sights, to be honest. And, and we decided after Tony had come off yesterday <laughs> on the better's way, that we're going to stick to more kind of on-road bits. And uh, sure enough, we did. This is us, I think, as we're approaching down towards Wells. Uh, again, it's just lots of tight little corners. You see, we've managed to chase this fellow on his bike here. We, we, we caught this guy up. He was on a, looked like a Triumph Bonneville, I think it was. Um, but yeah, we, we got into <laughs> this village and all of a sudden, this this does happen. It seems to be uh, people just get jammed up in a bit of a, a snag as cars try and squeeze through tiny little villages with the roads about as wide as one and a half cars. And you get this, of course. So here we are. We've got uh, a bus coming one way, and then somebody's got halfway around the corner of a caravan. Somebody else is stuck there. Car versus bus. Well, yeah, it, it, car fucking good. I don't want that thing. He's towing that car. Yeah, just in case you can't tell, he is toying that car and he was trying to get between the camera and the car. But yeah, you've got to enjoy the chaos, aren't you? What makes me laugh is everyone comes out to watch. <laughs> Let's see what's going off here. We're going to stand around and watch the traffic go past. Part of me did want to follow that cyclist there. But I didn't want to push this block in front. Oh no, he's going, he's going, he's going, he's going. Ah, and then everybody starts going. <laughs> you can't make it up, could you? See, I would say, if you're going to come down this end of the world, you know, come down it weak. Um, <laughs> with this weekend it's like it does get a bit crammed up go on some go round must get a bus through then eh? no, it's, it's, it's basically stuck all around the corner So everyone was stuck behind the box. This guy here, because he's like, you were looking to go around, and they obviously chickened out. So yeah, we did eventually get going. I'll bike to. Yeah, there, but. I mean, I suppose if you get one of these big camper vans, you need to make sure you take it somewhere you can actually get it through. Can't see. <laughs> it was, we think, and we'll, we'll see in a second because we actually do start moving. 
uh, there was some kind of wedding going off at the same time so they parked up at the side of the roads and then Mr Big Camper Van was like struggling to get through the, the tiny tiny gap Tell you what though, this pub on the right hand side looked tidy. I was just stood there having a pint watching the cars go past. <laughs> there you go, they were all kind of stood ready to get into this place here, so we don't know what was going off, but something was going off. And away we go, so we're back out onto the road again. you'll notice we've uh, we've lost that bike because we we took the first opportunity to get past the bike the camper van with the car the back of the trailer and then back right onto the road so tony had wanted to go and have a look at uh, a place he remembered from his, his youth which is this place at uh, emsby i think it was uh, which is like, well let's go and have a look, it's going to be full of our music arcades and stuff and we're going to the place and there was like virtually nowhere to park so this is us having been around the town three times trying to find somewhere to stop and I, I'm like, what are we stopping here for? because it, it just looks like the usual I don't want to say tacky seaside place but I think you know what I'm saying so we're going round and round and round and round do we want to park here, can we just stick it on the pavement? We should, maybe we shouldn't. Oh, hang on a minute. And then I spotted what I thought was, hang on, maybe this one we can just park down that is bike street. So, uh, as always with these things, we have to go and have a look and see what things we want to see. Interesting parking situation down here. I was going to park it on the right there because I didn't see that guy. Oh, he's coming out. Was he going there? Sorry, I didn't see that's where he was going. Tony, he wants to go in that spot, and I've seen the car go on. You've got to get out of my way, though. Well, it's okay because obviously, should we park on there? Uh, maybe not. Ah, do you know, traffic jams and parking, this is the most exciting video I think I've ever made. I thought you were going, I didn't realise they were taking that spot, I didn't want to nick it off. I don't know why we're so desperate to park at this place, because there weren't much for you. <laughs> I tell you what, there's more traffic on this road than M25, it's nuts. Oh look, I've spotted the spot, I've spotted the spot, we just need to get parked up in it, we're laughing. I tell you what, by the time we finish with this lot, we were proper ready for something to win. I know you've just seen us have breakfast, but between that and here, about three and a half hours, I think. As long as you're not blocking that gate, you'll be alright. So we had a dirty burger there, and then we decided we we're going to carry on get ourselves down to Great Yarmouth. So I think this is as we're starting to approach Great Yarmouth now. We cut out the chroma in bits and pieces because for some reason I didn't film it and I can't think why. I think what we got is once we kind of got there, Tony had sort of started having a bit of a, shall we say, a dicky tummy wasn't feeling very well so we decided to kind of just push on rather than spend much time on there and have a ride down into Chroma to, to kind of park up and, it, and it, the interesting thing is we, obviously we do get down there and you'll see that shortly um, 
it doesn't make a lot of fuss about it when we get there but shortly after we finish filming for the day he says to me I don't feel well disappeared into the toilet and that, that, that kind of last us over <laughs> he went to bed and uh, when I was I sat by myself so obviously me being me in Cromer with Tony in bed well I went to the local pub I found a nice pub had a couple of decent beers and in that pub uh, I met a bunch of people from guess what Sheffield people I recognise from a local beer festival so you've kind of got a laugh but uh, I had to make do amend and Tony, Tony bless him was out cold I think probably from about the 5 o'clock time we got there until the following morning where he was still not entirely well bless him but yeah this is us riding down past the back of Great Yarmouth uh, we're going to try and find the, the next hotel we've got which we knew was somewhere down here it's like yeah, it's over there somewhere Tom we spend a lot of time having conversations at traffic lights I don't know if that's unique to us maybe no bikers but this place had kind of got like a, a weird address it was somewhere near the bridge in Great Yarmouth and I had to kind of eyeball it you'll notice that the fucking sat nav has decided not to uh, oh you, you, you're moving don't press the buttons while you're moving it's like well I kind of need to know where I'm going Thankfully, I've mostly memorised it. So we turn right here, and it's some kind of flats by the side of the seat. Flipping head, it won't clear itself. There we go. It's round here somewhere. And I recognise that big building there with the four windows up it. We're in there because we've got a, uh, a quayside flat with a quayside view. We'll pull it, and we'll take a look at it. So yeah, not an awful lot to talk about there today, but you know, we, we, we've tried to make the best of it. Behind, Put it behind mine. Like that? Put it behind me. Keep an eye on you. So, uh, so we've just arrived at the accommodation for the night. Um, this is my room. I get two beds just in case I get bored of one. I can swap halfway through. Um, this is the flat we've got which described itself as a river view Tony's uh, abusing the facilities oh, he's got the double room tonight and again kind of a nice view aren't they? see across the back of Yarmouth let's go and have a look around the rest of it though because you've got to be nosy haven't you uh, he's got an en suite but it's alright because I've also got my own bathroom so nice big shower in that that's cool isn't it this is the uh, the living room. So we've got two really great big sofas. Again, nice big TV. Some books if that's what you want. And <laughs> some toys. So whatever this is, like somebody's house and they just rented out one and all here, I don't know. And as promised, we have a view of the river yard. So you can't argue. Yep, definitely got a riverside view. Can we see the sea? Not really, but then it never said we could. But uh, well, there's, there's stuff out there, so that's kind of cool. And then we've got uh, this door. We have to be careful; we don't throw it over too far, because I don't want to crash into that. Looks like the kitchen's through the other room. This is making me laugh. You tell it to come up with a loft on it. That's a good laugh. Isn't it? Oh, and then we've got look at this nice little kitchen. We've got somewhere to do all that. There's all that. Oh, it's warm in here. <sighs> And a working fridge freezer. I'm really milk though, because Tony drank that by the side of the rogue system, it's been upset. So, yeah, I've done two shots in there, quite happy with that. Like I say, if you look at the river, it's a bit brown, but uh, can't miss lift that, can it? I think we've done alright here, Tom. I think we've done alright here, kind of fell on oh, his feet. I drink more, it's amazing. Yeah. Bit of, a, bit of a rough end foot day for you, you've not been very well have you? Stomach trouble, see what it is, he's not used to drinking dirty beer and it's killed him. <laughs> so uh, nothing but cider tonight John I think. So yeah, yeah man. so we're gonna, we'll, we'll get changed because we need to get changed, I'm gonna put that beer in the fridge because I don't want warm beer and then we'll, uh, we'll take it from there.